Hey guys, happy Friday. I love Fridays. <laughs> They're so satisfying. So I'm just relaxing a little bit. It is my lunch break. So lunch break for me now is crochet break. So I love it. I actually started a new project. <laughs> I did post a little bit about this and I have been kind of recording some clips too, but it is this. Ah, yes. So yeah, I'm making another cardigan. And for this one, I dropped my yarn. Hold on. <laughs> I'm using, this is a big twist in the color Spirit. And I think this color is just so, so pretty. Like as soon as I unboxed this, I looked at it, I was like, I want to make a sweater out of this. So I'm starting another cardigan. And for this pattern, I am using a pattern by, is it ho pronounced Hobby or Hobie? I don't know. I always say Hobby, Hobby yarn. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so it's a free pattern from them. And this is what I have so far, the first hexagon. So I had four balls of this color and this is the second one. So I'm probably gonna have to order some more of it. I think the pattern said that, I don't even know if the yardage is the same, but they said you need it five to make it. I was hoping since I had a cream one, like I could do the cuffs in that color and I would have enough, but I doubt it. So this weekend I'm actually gonna head to Joann's and I'm gonna pick up a few more. I don't know how many I'm going to get. I'm going to work on this more today and see how far I get. I measured it and I think I need to do about two more inches to get to the size medium. I was going to make a size large because I kind of, I like, it's a sweater and I like my stuff a little bit oversized, but I feel like I crochet really loosely. So I think a medium is actually going to be pretty good. So I'm going to get up to the medium size and see, hopefully this is enough. <laughs> and then I can start working on the rest of it. The reason I love this pattern was because the sleeves actually have a cuff added on. So like when they're done, they don't look like super, super wide. So I really like that look. So yeah, I'm going to keep working on it, but I'm starting another challenge. Yay. <laughs> you guys know, I love challenges. I love things that just, just challenges. I think that's so much fun. So for this one, at first I was not actually planning to join in on this one, but I saw the beginning of it this morning and I had to. So I'm going to switch over. I'm going to show you what it is and how I'm going to start it off. Hello. It is day one of the seven days of crochet, <laughs> which is my thank you to all of you for another great year. So today's clue was orangey brown and that this animal is chill with pretty much every animal in the animal kingdom and is known for balancing citrus on its head. So I saw this post-it yesterday and I knew it was going to be starting on December 1st. I, I, I don't know, I was kind of like, that might be kind of fun to do, but I don't know, I, I don't think I'm going to actually join this one. But this morning... I got up, I was up a little bit early and I was in bed and decided to just scroll YouTube and I saw what the first project was and it was a sign because it is like my favorite animal. So I know I love cats, like cats are my thing. I love cats. Honestly, I love all animals. But when I, when I usually say like, what is my favorite animal? Like that's non-cat, it's this one. So let me show you guys what it is. Introducing you to capybara. Yeah. Okay, I love capybaras. I love them because I, I actually didn't know about them until recently. Well, not recently, a few years now. But I, I have guinea pigs and capybaras are basically just giant looking guinea pigs. So I think they are so, so cute. So as soon as I saw that this was the first pattern, I was like, yep. I, I have to jump into this challenge. I am so excited and actually have the perfect, perfect color. So for my capybara, I'm going to be using this color. And this is one of the ones that I got out of the Mary Maxim mystery bags. I have about, uh, did I get four, probably 12 balls of this. <laughs> so I have plenty, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this to make my capybara. You know, at first I was also kind of thinking about 
really, I put, I was wondering what happened to my sewing needle. I jammed it into my poor turkey's head. How sad. <laughs> but yeah, so at first I was thinking about going ahead and actually using the same color that I made my turkey out of, because I love how it has that little bit of sparkle to it. We'll see how long it takes me if I can get, so these are pretty small, so if I can get through the whole thing using just this color, it's a really, it's kind of hard to focus. My camera's not really focusing on it. Let's see if I zoom out, maybe that'll help. Yeah, see if this helps. I think you can see it a little bit better now, but it's a really, really pretty gold color and it's really, really close to what Complicated Knots used. So I'm gonna use this one first. And if I get through the whole project, Today, I might go ahead and do another one. So it has a little bit, a little buddy in the same color as my turkey. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna spend my lunch break getting started on this and I'll film some clips and show you what it ends up looking like. Well, I'm already off to start. I had been start, oh, there's the center. <laughs> Got lots of yarn barf, which is not the funnest way to start a project, but it is what it is. Hopefully this doesn't get too tangled. You know, I had been starting my projects from the outside of the ball. And it's kind of nice that my yarn doesn't get as tangled when I do that. But I decided for this one, you know what, I'm going to do a center pull. Not sure if that was a good idea or not, because I have quite a bit of yarn left right here. But I should use this up for the project. All right. So I actually don't like to start my projects with magic rings. So I am going to go ahead and use the chain four, make a circle and do it that way. I just feel like it's a little bit more secure. Ooh, this yarn is thin. So this is actually the first time I've used this yarn, which is, I think this is actually the Mary Maxim brand, I think. Not 100% sure, but it does feel quite a lot thinner than I expected. Does it say what size hook that it's suggesting? five to six crochet. Is that like millimeter? I don't know. <laughs> Not like I'm going to pay attention to it anyway. So I'm going to be using it for amigurumi. So I'm going to be using my 3.5 millimeter. And start it off. Grab a stitch marker out. Let me grab a stitch marker. Let me get started. All right, so I have my magic ring done and I need to do two repeats of this one. So I'm going to just sit here. I'm going to work on this for a few minutes. And then once I have a little bit done, the head starting to take shape, I will check back in with you guys and show you how it's coming out. So I just went ahead and I put on the safety eyes and I did do a, I didn't have the right backs for the safety eyes. I couldn't find them. So these ones were a little bit too large. So I did do the whole melt the back of them, smish them down. So I don't think they'll come out and I don't think I burned anything this time. So a little improvement there, but yeah, I think it's coming out cute so far. His little ears. I've never done an amigurumi project yet with these like little, these, I think these are double trebles to give him his little ear. So I'm excited to try that out. I'm going to keep working on it. I'm going to start working on the body now and I'll give you guys an update in a little bit. All right. So this is where I'm at so far. I think it's so cute. So 
I did learn a lot doing this project so far because I've never done a project like an amigurumi project that has these like clusters like this, these little popcorn stitches and like the little ears. I am just in love with how this is turning out. I think it is so cute. It is, I am like kind of just taking a little bit longer on this project, even though it's really small, just because there are some new stitches for me, but I just think it's so, so cute. So I'm at the part right now where I'm going to do the back legs and yeah, so I'm going to keep working on it, get the back legs done. And once I have the body done, I'll check in with you guys again. All right, I just finished the back legs and I'm at that point now where I get to start stuffing him. He's so cute. I want to make sure that I get him stuffed really well, but I don't want to overstuff him since I tend to overstuff a lot of my projects. Right, so I have the base done. I is so cute. I just love how he turned out. So the last part, just to add some little details, like there's adding him some little eyelids, adding his nose and his mouth. And I think that will be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those and I'll come back to you guys with the final reveal. All right, here's my final little capybara. I think it came out so cute. I just, I love how this came out. I love the shape of the body. I just think it's so cute. So I've actually never made an amigurumi like this small with like these little details like this. So I'm so just happy with how it came out. And I did put make him some little eyelids following the pattern by complicated knots. So I love this. I had so much fun making this. I'm actually going to go ahead and make a second one. So I'm going to use this color that I used for my turkey. And I'm going to make him a little friend because he's just so cute. I keep just picking him up, looking at him, just saying how cute he is. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to spend tonight. I'm going to go ahead and make one more with this color. And I'll post some shorts of that, too. So I am just really excited now to see what tomorrow's project is going to be for this challenge. So, yeah, I'm going to be really just excited to see what the seven days are going to bring and like what each project's going to be. So hopefully I have all the colors that I'm going to need and hopefully I just get a whole bunch of really cute little projects like this. So that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.